Uh, October 10th, 2019. Uh, just pulled these sweet potatoes that I used for uh, creating slips back in the spring and then left out over the summer to grow and had planned to propagate more from but didn't get around to. Just brought those back in the greenhouse. Gonna dump them out quick, see how much they produced in the container and uh, harvest them out, use that soil to help set up the uh, new ginger plantings. So, uh, yeah, just thought I would share. No, really, ready, set, harvest. That took about 60 seconds. Uh, I can't complain about that at all. That's a decent amount of harvest for uh, such a small container with so little actual maintenance done to it. That one's a monster. Or double. I think it's just one. Um, but uh, those will be enjoyable. And uh, that was easy. And now I have uh, soil, of course, that's, you'll notice it's looking a little darker even than it was. Uh, ready to go back in and uh, do some ginger in. So that's nice. Anyway, I uh, had a comment on uh, one of my videos today about uh, growing in containers. Uh, and yeah, I gotta agree, growing in containers is nice. Uh, when you scale up, it gets expensive uh, soil and container-wise. But um, it is a nice uh, extra control to add to uh, growing, depending on your scale. Oh yeah. So real quick on ginger while we're here. Uh, I mentioned back in the spring when I talked about transplanting and propagating ginger about the two different root types. So one is more of a lateral root type as you can see here. See all the little fine hairs going off? And then you see these long uh, octopus tentacle type legs coming off. Those are those deeper tap roots I was talking about. And in my case, where I'm in a heavy clay here, these were drilling down through the clay to go down in and extract nutrients from deeper down. So an, an older and more robust and mature ginger plant will have those roots very deep in the ground. Um, so that can give you an advantage from a growing standpoint if you uh, make for deeper soils and, uh, and you know, keep uh, some deeper established plants. Uh, if you could do it in a good native soil, you could get some gains out of that. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to point out the two different root types. So, I think that's it. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.